This is part three of the main.js tutorials. In our last video, we just created our model and the tests for the model. We ran our tests and of course our test failed because we did not implement that feature yet. Um, in these videos, we will generally be, generally be creating our tests first and then creating the functionality that should make those tests pass. This strategy known as test driven development helps us work out the requirements of our project before actually, before actually trying to implement them. So if we go back to our tests, we wanted to make our post not be able to save if the title was left blank. So in our model file, we can go ahead and start adding in, adding in the fields we need. So we have the title, text, and author. And for each of these fields, we can specify what data type it should be. We can give it a default value. For the strings, we can have it trim the white spaces automatically. And since our title we want to be required, so we don't want a blank title, we can put true here, or we can write an error message. So if we write the title not be blank, it will return this message whenever the requirement is not fulfilled. So for text, we can allow them to leave it blank. And for the author field, the type will actually be a schema object ID. So this lets us link it to the user model, which is located in the core module, or in the user's module. And we can have it reference the user schema. Now let's try to run our test and see what happens. So it looks like all of our tests have passed and now it's running the end-to-end -end test which I'll get to later so I'll just end this process for now. Now of course we can add more tests, we can add more functionality also but for now I'll leave that as an exercise for later that you can practice on your own time. So now what we're going to do is generate our server-side controller express controller and we'll just leave it as the default name and we're also going to generate our routes Oops, no S at the end, just express route. And also we'll just leave it as the default. So because the generator is still being developed, it is unable to actually generate the tests for these routes. So since we're going to create our tests first, we're going to have to just make it from scratch. 
So go to the server-side test folder and create a new file called host.server.docs.test.js and we're going to have to fill this in from scratch. We'll start with the U strip at the top. And for the imports, I'll pause the video while I type to save some time. Okay, so these are all the libraries we need for testing. You can see we also included our user and post models. And now we need some global variables. And now we can start writing our tests. So first, we'll have a describe. So these are actually our CRUD tests for create, read, update, and delete. Because we will be testing the functionality to create, update, and delete posts, as you'll see soon. So we'll need a before to initialize the testing agent. So we need a before each and here we're going to initialize our user and sample post. So we're saving the credentials here as a global because we're going to use them in several parts in our test here. So we'll just call it uh, NJS user and just make up some password. Remember it has to satisfy the four requirements like when you sign up on the actual web page. We'll make our user now. And these are all, just all of the required fields that you can see for yourself if you check out the user model in the other module. Username, we'll take that from credentials. And also the password. Okay, now we need to save our user. And also save the post to our user. Put some sample data in here.
And now before actually writing our test, we will write the after each section. That just lets us clean up our data. Alright, so this is the basic stuff that you could actually just save as a template somewhere and use for your future route testing files until the generator gets updated, of course. So let's go ahead and write one test for now. We'll test the ability to save an article and post. And I want to make sure the user is logged in. So first, we're going to have our agent Actually, log in. By sending the credentials to this login API. part. So it signed in OK. We just save the user ID here for now. We're going to have the agent try to save a post by posting to the post API. I call it post. It will send our post data that we saved earlier. Again, if there's an error, then we stop there. And now we can use the get method to try to check if our post actually got saved. No errors, then we should be able to get our post from the result here. Errors. Because we are out of time, I fast forwarded the video, but all I did was add these three lines just to check whether the post data matches. If it does, then our save should have worked. And we can also go ahead and run our test real quick. And the test should fail. So if you ran the test, you should be able to see the errors on your own terminal. And I'll continue in the next video.